Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. It is Mandy, obviously, and welcome back to my channel. Um, super quick disclaimer is that um, my content and my channel are not aimed at children. <laughs> I am putting a blanket over my lap because it's really, really cold in my room right now. Um, it's going to get up to like almost 80 today. But in the mornings here in Indiana right now, because I am back home, I'm back in Indiana. <laughs> in the mornings in Indiana right now, um, it's cold in the mornings and then it gets really hot in the afternoon. So I don't really want to turn my heat on because what would be the point? By the time I get home, it would be blistering in here and the cats would be miserable. So um, I just deal with it in the morning. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's cold, so I have a big white baby blanket um, over my legs because I'm just wearing my sleep shorts because it's cold. <laughs> but yes, I am back from vacation. I am back from Utah. Um, the box opening that I put up, um, I didn't put it up yesterday. A lot of you probably didn't see it till yesterday. I put it up really late on um, Tuesday night. Sorry. I'm a little, my allergies are still going crazy from Utah. I put that video up on uh, late Tuesday night. That was actually pre-recorded. So this little girl right here, Harper by Andrea Arcello, um, her box opening was pre-recorded. I filmed that, um, I actually filmed it like two or three weeks ago. And I just put it up last night. Um, I'm sorry, Tuesday night. But yeah, but she's been here for a little bit, but I try to space my box openings out. And I'm so glad I had this. I'm so glad I had her box opening pre-recorded because uh, we got in Monday night. Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday, I was just beat. I was absolutely <laughs> whooped, you guys. Absolutely whooped. Um, vacation was absolutely exhausting. I was so tired at the time that we got home that I didn't do much of anything. Um, I was just so worn out and, um, I'm still kind of worn out today, but, um, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and do a video that wasn't pre-recorded and get that done. And since she was the last baby that I had shown you, um, since I had done that, that video that I put up on Tuesday night, I thought that we would get her changed and we would do her name reveal. Um, and that I would also do a few little themes. Um, obviously I'm not doing theme Thursday. I don't even know what theme Thursday is. I really need to get a onesie on her. I'm going to grab her onesie while I talk. Um, <clears throat> but I've got a couple things that I thought I would do. This morning, um, well, I get her changed, and then I'm going to be off to work here in a little bit. Now, I know I have a onesie that I can put on her somewhere. I may have to just grab a newborn size onesie, and which is fine, because she's little. She's only 19 inches. She's a little thing. Um, she is a very, very tiny little girl. Let's see. Do I have a onesie I can toss on her? What is this? This is a long sleeve onesie. That may not be good. Um, I need to buy some more, uh, like white onesies. Like I need to get more of those like super basic white onesies and get those kind of like stocked <laughs> in my drawers for when I need to have a quick little onesie to toss on a baby. I think for right now she is going to get one of these onesies that Kelly sent with the baby. Um, Kelly makes these little onesies 
that she sends with the baby. So I'm going to put that on her while we talk about my vacation and I tell you about this little girl. So, guys, I am so super glad to be back in Indiana. Like, I cannot express to you how glad I am to be back in Indiana. <laughs> so, vacation. I mean, vacation was fun. It was. It was. I had never seen the mountains before. I had never seen a place as beautiful, especially as Huntsville, uh, Utah. You know, we landed in Salt Lake City and um, Joe's, uh, part of Joe's family, you know, his mom lives in Huntsville. Guys, Huntsville is beautiful. So if you were watching the, um, if you were watching the videos that I was putting out, of kind of like my vacation blogs, um, the first few videos that I put out, those were all Huntsville. And then later on, we moved to Southern Utah for the national parks. But Huntsville was my favorite of everywhere. Um, there were just these beautiful snow-capped mountains, these big rolling hills. Um, they live in a valley, and to get to that valley, you go through this canyon, and you go um, through this route, this road called Trapper's Loop. Um, and it's like going on to the set of The Sound of Music. It, it looks like Austria. Just lush green rolling hills that look like there's all these meadows just on them. And uh, um, waterfalls and um, all of these. She's a little floppy. She's a little floppy. All of these snow-capped mountains. I mean, gosh, you guys, it's gorgeous. This little cloth diaper that Shara sent with her is the cutest little thing. Um, I loved being there. I really did. We went out to eat with family a few times. Um, you know, we had, um, I think we had like a cookout. And it was just a really good time. And then we moved to southern Utah and, um, that was very, very stressful. Um, I can't go into everything because some of it is, is, you know, it, it's, <laughs> it's family business, but, um, that part of the vacation was stressful. We were all in a cabin together, um, the family, we were all in a cabin together and, you know, I felt, um, I felt very stressed out because during the days we were going to these national parks and guys, I am not built for hiking. I'm not built for hiking. Y'all know <laughs> I'm a big girl, but more than that though, because you know, there's plenty of, of bigger people that can hike just fine, but I have fibromyalgia I have arthritis, um, you know, I've got some pretty serious, like, chronic pain issues. Um, I was, I was suffering, you guys. I was suffering. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was, it, it was so hard to get through every day because I was in agony, like, every day. And all of these hikes had been planned for us ahead of time. Like, every, like, everything was scheduled. Everything was scheduled. Everything was planned down to, like, even when breakfast was served. Breakfast was served every morning at 8. There was no time to sleep in. Um, trust me, Joe was just as aggravated as I was. Um, it just, it wasn't, it was not, it was not relaxing. Um, and I love his family. I do. I love, I love his family. And everybody does things very differently. Everybody does things very differently. Um, but, uh, but that kind of, that kind of like physical activity was not for me. Um, I ended every day just exhausted and in pain and, um, I'm ashamed to say that at one point I got a little snappy with some of them because, um, we had had a really hard, physically hard day and breakfast was going to be served at eight. It was like 11 o'clock at night. 
Um, mine and Joe's room in the cabin was right outside the kitchen. Everybody was in the kitchen just having a good time. And our bedroom was right there, uh, like almost right off the kitchen. And um, Joe and I could not, we couldn't rest. And we were both exhausted and pain. And I, I'm ashamed to say that I went out into the kitchen and asked them if they would please quiet it down. And I, I may have been a little rude. <laughs> But I was so tired. Oh my gosh. Um, well, we got in on Monday. And um, the cats are fine. We had a wonderful cat sitter. The cats are all good. They are uh, happy. So, so happy that we're home. Um, they have just been absolutely all over us since we've been home. I got lots of beautiful pictures and beautiful videos while I was there. Um... I don't think there's any such thing as like a perfect vacation. I really don't. There's no such thing as a perfect vacation. There's always going to be something. And especially when you do that vacation with a big family, there's so many different personalities. Um, everybody wants different things. Um, and I just have come to the conclusion that a hiking outdoorsy vacation is not for me. And it's not for Joe either. Joe wasn't particularly having fun either. Oh my goodness. Um, but we want to go back to Utah, but next time we want to just get kind of like a cabin of our own and then we'll meet up with people and then also go and do our own things. And I think that will just work a lot better. Um, okay. So now that I have sat here and rambled and rambled and rambled about my vacation and forgotten to tell you her name and forgotten to tell you what she's wearing, <laughs> I put her in this really cute little, uh, it's kind of like a like a short sleeve sleeper. I think it's like a pair of pajamas. So she could be good for Toddler Tuesday. I do know that Toddler Tuesday was like um, a favorite set of jammies. Possibly. I think that's what I was told. Um, I haven't been able to watch hardly any videos, you guys. Um, so I put her in this. this. These actually came home with her sister, uh, Maisie. Eileen. These came home with Eileen. Um, but they are super soft. They're zero to three. Um, so she's wearing some Disney. It's a little, and there's a little embroidered, uh, little designs going down the kind of like kimono style of this little sleeper. There's a little embroidered Minnie Mouse, an embroidered flower, and a, um, and a uh, butterfly and Daisy Duck. This is Daisy Duck. I kept saying Daffy. Daffy is like, wait, I don't know. This is Daisy. It's Daisy, you guys. I think it's Daisy. So don't, don't, don't come at me. I'm not very good with like Disney characters, but I don't watch a lot of classic Disney. Um, but, and then I've got this cute little like striped pink uh, headband that I'm going to put on her. Can you guys tell that I'm all like still discombobulated? Well, I'm always kind of discombobulated, honestly, guys. I'm always discombobulated. Those of you who have watched me for a while, you know that I ramble and that I um and mutter a lot. So, But you're still here, so I have to think that there's something about me that you like. But anyway, there she is. So let me tell you her name. So her kit name is Harper. She's the Harper kit by Andrea Arcello. She's the original Harper, which is why she has jazz hands. Jazz hands. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I was going to name her Eilish or Ailish. Um, I wanted to give her kind of like an Irish name, sort of like her sister Eileen. Um, but I actually decided to give her a little bit of a different name. Um, I decided to name her, um, her kit name. So she's Harper, and her middle name is Irene. So she is kind of close to her sister. Her sister is Eileen, Eileen Monroe. She is Harper Irene. So, yes, Harper Irene. Um, I really just love the name Harper, and I think it just fits her. So um, I don't have, I don't think I really have any babies that have their kit name. Um, I think I've always changed their name, um, most of the time, but yeah, but she's, she's going to be Harper Irene. 
I think she is so, I love her so much. Her smile, how can you not smile when you see her? She has got the prettiest rooted ginger lashes. She's got this beautiful red ginger hair. I just love her little face. Look how happy she is. Oh my gosh, she's got this.